Keeping it in the family. As New Zealand's population ages, the elder care sector is facing a crisis as baby boomers reach older age. Where some forms of employment can merely be a job, for the McPherson family, caregiving is a family affair. And one Christmas she said, come home and said to me, so once would like me to do caregiving and could you, would you do my job that I do, which was just a kitchen job? And I said, yeah, 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 I'll do that. She goes, no, for six weeks. And I said, yep, yep, that'll be fine. I'll do it for you over Christmas for six weeks. So I come down and saw Sue and that was um, seven years ago. Glendale Retirement Home Workers Tony McPherson and her daughter Nikita are among the team working with Lily and Aidy, who's Tony McPherson's mother. But with some people who are caring for their own elderly spouses without pay, getting a break for a dependent loved one can be hard. And hey, if uh, we booked into a place that said we'll give you two weeks notice and then two weeks out they haven't got a room, we're in a bit of trouble. Or the other one, she can give you two days notice, and hey, if the room's not there two days before I go away, what do we do? But a new report released by the New Zealand Nurses Organisation and Air2 reveals patients trying to ration their own care to help overworked staff, including one case of a man dying from an infected wound. The report states some residents are paying up to $1,400 a week and only getting six minutes of care a day. In Dunedin, The South Today.